809, hold on to your breakfast. Co-host of Word Travels on the Outdoor Life Network, Robin Asrock is here. It is all about cultural understanding, Robin. As we talk about some of the popular delicacies that exist around the world, to us they may seem strange, to them, it's just a normal meal. I wouldn't call them the most disgusting food in the world because really that's our cultural, the way we look at that culturally. It's very unique. Certainly the world's grossest food. Oh, we're going to get away with that one. I think so. Okay, now what's the criteria? You're going to introduce some of the most interesting things you found around the world. What's the criteria you looked at to make this list? Well, it's got to be commercially available. You've got to be able to walk into a restaurant and order this food from a menu. Fair enough. Okay. The second is that it's got to make me wretch. It's got to make uh, the pit come up in my stomach, the frog in my throat try and escape. Okay. You know, easy criteria. It's, it's, uh, the, main, the most important thing was anyone can, can make something bizarre, but this is stuff you, you can pay for and you can actually order. All right, Fear Factor, move over, and we're going to start with the Sour Toe Cocktail. Do tell. Oh, Canada. Only Canada. In the Yukon, there's a bar in Dawson City that serves up a drink with a human toe, a severed human toe dropped into your drink. The same toe for everybody. You've got to slug back the drink until the uh, toe touches your lips for five seconds. Oh. And then you join the Sour Toe Cocktail Club. Now the toe is gnarly, it's got the nail on, it's all shriveled, it's kept in... Why? In a, Why do they do this? I don't know, it came about as a kind of... Uh, I think it was a drunk idea that caught on as a tourist attraction. Yeah. 60,000 people have tried the Sour Toe Cocktail, right. and, and I'm one of them. It has become a phenomenon. Thumbs up, thumbs down on the experience. Toes up. Toes up. All right, tell us about balut. Well, balut is a delicacy in the Philippines. All right, this is a fertilized duck egg. Basically, it's an egg with the duck ready to be born, except that's when they take it out, cook it, and you eat it. So it's crunchy because you're eating the bones and you're eating the beak, but it's also meaty because you're eating the duck in the egg. So I like ducks and I like eggs, but putting the duck and the egg together is it's kind of out there. And they do this without hesitation. They love it. Wow. You know, slurp back the embryonic fluid, have a cold oh, beer. That is heavy. <laughs> um, okay, popular snack in Cambodia, and people that have arachnophobia will not like this one. Deep fried boiled hairy spiders. Now, this is a roadside snack. You see this uh, all over Cambodia on the, on the bus stops. You get off and uh, there's ladies sitting around. These are actually a kind of form of tarantula. So they big hairy spiders. Um, you know, they, they deep fry them. You, you pick off the legs, you bite them, and the black bug juice drips down the side of your mouth. Um, yeah, you know, it's people out there having breakfast. I apologize, but uh, this is how you have breakfast in other parts of the world. It's cultural understanding. Rather, you bite the spider than the spider bites you. <laughs> You know? <laughs> be in control of that situation. Uh, soup, I'm a big fan of, but ox penis soup, a little different. Ox penis soup is a delicacy. I mean, it, it comes because of the, ap the, the supposed Whoa. aphrodisiac qualities of the, uh, of the penis in question. It actually used to be tiger penis, but thank God we've moved on from that. Oh, thank God, yeah. Um, you know, you know if, you, if, you, if you look at the, uh, the ox penis and you, and you gross out, think about the prairie oysters, the Canadian Rocky Mountain oysters, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's not too far from that, and I have tried that, and it tastes like, yeah, no, it tastes, I'm not going to go, it's say how it tastes on, on television at the moment. That good, that good. <laughs> uh, one last one, this one had even Gordon Ramsay, uh, a, a little queasy, fermented shark, this one's popular too. Right, fermented shark, the, the, the reason why it's so disgusting is the ammonia. This is actually poisonous, right, the shark will kill you if you eat it raw, but they ferment it for six months. And the smell of ammonia is so strong that uh, Gordon Ramsay uh, tried it on, on TV and he threw up yeah. on camera. Um, you're supposed to hold your nose and then approach it, put it in, swallow it, then let go. And even then you'll throw up because it's so <laughs> strong. That, you know, yeah, even the fins kind of stay away from that. Well, the great part of your show is you introduce us to new ideas. That's what happens on uh, Word Travels. You can catch it every Sunday at 12 p.m. New season hits in January, yeah? That's right. All right, check it out on the OLN. Before we let you go, what is the worst food that uh, you just dread, that you just cannot stand? The food that's spam. Spam? I don't do spam. I can't do that. I can't go anywhere near that. And the worst thing, uh, you know, I'm not the guy who eats stuff. My, my co-host is the person who eats stuff. I jump off things. I bungee jump and skydive. I like to let 
Other people handle the disgusting food. I heard you hate Brussels sprouts uh, too. Oh, darn it, I'm Brussels sprouts. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's oh, that's you, too bad. Oh, you, why don't you, oh, why don't you no. just indulge? Just have one for us. Oh. The hosts are going to be trying some stuff later on. you got to vote on breakfastsellers.ca to see if Don Trubay will eat head cheese, or sell sardines, and here goes Robin oh, God. with Brussels sprouts. You can have a sour toe cocktail, but you can't have Brussels sprouts. I might throw up on, on, on TV right now. I'll just have to warn ratings. Take it down. Oh. He loves it, Don. He loves it. Go what? for seconds. Well, yes, what I want to know is what does he think about you and your sardines? Yeah, what do you think about me and my sardines? Sardines. I love sardines. Brussels sprouts. Oh. <laughs> oh, Brussels sprouts? What did you cook uh, He's very brave. He's very brave eating those Brussels oh, sprouts. And Him and probably oh. every kid at home. You want none? Delicious. <laughs> No, you go ahead, Don. All right. <laughs> Thanks very much. Hey, by the way, you can vote on our poll, breakfasttelevision.ca. Which host do you want to see eat the food they hate? So far, Riaz is in the lead. Sardines. Eh, maybe Robin will finish up his plate of Brussels sprouts and move on to the head cheese that everyone is thinking I should eat as well. So again.